All right, and now the HSQC data. So double click and double click on the one here. Okay, and this is a huge data file, and again, it might take you know 10 seconds or 30 seconds to pop up here. All right, so there it is. Okay, you treat this very similar to the cozy. These are cross peaks, right? This is a cross peak, although the X axis is a proton spectrum. The Y axis axis is the carbon spectrum. So this cross peak is telling you that the proton, that proton at about four parts per million is coupled to that carbon at about 52 parts per million. Okay. Just like with the cozy, we need to reduce the intensity a little bit. So we get rid of these little cross peaks that are just noise, right? There's, there's nothing there on the carbon axis. It's just noise. So you can click divide by two. And you can get down to the point where you see that they're um, pretty small peaks, but you don't have anything else. And these, there should be a proton peak on the x-axis that lines up with a carbon peak on the y-axis. Okay, And you can see that all these that's true for all of these little peaks. Okay. The other thing to notice is the color. Okay, these are dark blue, which tells you that it's either a CH3 group or a CH group. If they were light blue or kind of an aqua blue or green, that would tell you that it's a CH2 group.